Hi, this is Congressman Luke Tamara with another edition of Lane Buzz. Thanks for joining us this week. This week we're at the Missouri State Fair. And as you know, it's, that's the state fair that uh, showcases our number one industry in the state, agriculture. And uh, throughout the day, we've been talking to lots of different farmers and farm groups about all the different things that are their concern to them. You know, we start out this morning with the uh, governor's ham breakfast where we detail a lot of the problems that are going on in our state. The governor uh, made some nice remarks at the Farm Bureau uh, briefing where we talked about the disasters that have happened to our state and how agriculture has stepped up and not wanted a hand out, but wanted somebody to stand with them to be able to get past this time and, and be able to get themselves back on their feet. And so I think it's indicative of the spirit of our American people and especially the spirit of the people here in the west of Missouri. We're looking not to the, to the government for help, but to themselves and to their neighbors for help. And so as we try and re recover from all these things, uh, it's nice to, to, to try and support each other. Again, as we've gone around the fair, the other things that we're hearing uh, are very similar to what we hear in our town meetings. You know, farmers are a very, very regulated industry. Agriculture is kind of under the radar in industry, but yet it's very, very regulated from the standpoint. The EPA is always looking over its shoulder, re regulating everything from the herbicides they use on their fields to the dust that their, duct that their tractors make great. This is nonsense. And so as a, as a result, we've got to make sure that we don't impact agriculture in a negative way and run them out of business because that's our food supply. Uh, we had a great meeting a while ago with the senator, Senator Blunt, who uh, had a great question with regards to trade. Uh, one of the things that we're looking at is the trade agreements. If we can get those three things passed, that's $2.6 billion worth of trade that will be impactful to not just the farmers across the, the whole entire country, but especially to Missouri because we produce a lot of things that are in those trade agreements. So we're excited about that opportunity and looking forward to the trade agreements coming across the, the flat house floor so we can vote on them. Again, uh, we're having a good time here at State Fair. I meet a lot of great folks and listen to their concerns and their hopes and dreams of the future as we get our state back on track. Take care. See you next week.